Winnipeg has a lot of amazing neighborhoods and even when you think you know the city, there's always more to explore. This time we are spending 24 hours in the southern part of Winnipeg staying at the Holiday Inn Winnipeg South and it's the perfect opportunity to do some really fun things like Thermea, Fort White and just check out all of the great food options around. Winnipeg South is an amazing option if you're looking for a getaway in Winnipeg. The location is absolutely perfect. It's well situated to let you take in some of Winnipeg's best attractions. The hotel itself is casual, comfortable, and welcoming, and all of the rooms are amazing. They're spacious, modern, very, very clean, perfect for families, couples, girls' getaways. It's awesome. One hotel feature we couldn't wait to check out was the pool. What could be better than a relaxing swim to start our adventure? What's awesome is there's actually more than one pool for hotel guests. A shallow pool for kids, a larger pool with deep end, even a whirlpool. The pool water was warm and the hot tub was relaxing. Okay, we just had an awesome swim in the pool and now we're gonna jump in the car and head over to Camille Bakery to grab our pre-order. We hear great things about Camille Bakery all of the time, so we were super excited to be in the area and get an opportunity to come down here and try out a bunch of their treats. Probably too much for the two of us yeah. right now, but we wanted to have some extras for later. This is the tiramisu, Ferrero Rocher, salted caramel, and Oreo cookie. And then, because we're also just huge fans of croissant, we got the almond croissant as well. Each one of these looks like a beautiful little piece of art. That is a monster of a treat in the best possible way. Okay, I'm just gonna dive into it. Go for Hope it. for the best. Oh wow, it's really good. So many layers. You got the crusty pastry, obviously. You got the um, rich filling. And then this top layer of broken cookies. So Oreos, so good. I could use a napkin. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try one now that's maybe a little bit less messy. Like what? I think the salted caramel. This also feels very heavy, hefty. Oh my god. This one has like also kind of a cinnamony vibe to it. And it has a filling too. This would be like the type of treat you'd ask for for your birthday to have as like a special occasion. Okay, we've had to stop eating. Um, yes, we can't have any more right now. No. Suffice to say that everything that we've eaten from Camille is has been amazing. Yes. Uh, we're looking forward to eating the rest of our cronuts and the almond croissant. Absolutely, I can hardly wait. But it won't fit in there right now. Only a couple of blocks from the Holiday Inn is one of our absolute favorite Vietnamese restaurants, TH Dang. So after a short break from our cronut session and a little time to chill out in our room, we wandered over for a late lunch. We opted for two classic dishes, pho with medium rare and well done beef and a vermicelli bowl with grilled pork and spring rolls. Both were fresh, filled with flavor and completely addictive. And of course, we couldn't leave without ordering at least one Vietnamese coffee.
After devouring our meals, we headed over to Fort White Alive, one of Winnipeg's great destinations, especially if you love the outdoors. With lakes, wetlands, and forest, a visit to Fort White is a great way to get a boost of nature. And in the fall, you can witness something extra special, the Sunset Goose Flight. You get there just before sunset. The lake already has some activity with seagulls and other birds flying around. A few minutes after sunset, the action really starts to pick up. Suddenly you see a black line in the sky coming as the first wave of geese start to arrive. Then more flocks come into view and more and more. And suddenly there are thousands of geese arriving, wave after wave. It's absolutely incredible. We've never seen anything like it. You can help our little channel take flight by giving us a like and subscribing if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. We love food trucks, so we had to check out the Fired Up Pizza Truck, which was on site during our visit. We split a hot and tasty margarita pizza, and as a bonus, it totally warmed us up, which we needed at that point. Another great thing to do at the Holiday Inn is go for breakfast. Served at Eno Bar, you can order off the menu or get the breakfast buffet when it's available. There are a lot of great options, including scrambled eggs, bacon, and French toast. It's a perfect way to start your day. Pretty early, going into Thermea. I think it's kind of the sunrise treatment today. It's a little cool too, probably about three degrees, maybe five tops. But we're so looking forward to our Nordic spa experience. Very much so. morning enjoying Thermea which is a totally unique experience here in Winnipeg. It's a Nordic spa which means it's set up to let you enjoy the thermal experience. So what you get to do for that is get your body nice and hot and then you cool off quickly and then you relax and you do that two or three times in a row and it's supposed to have all of these amazing benefits. So we are super excited to do that. What better way to spend a day? If you feel like having a massage or any kind of skincare, they also have that here for you. And there's a great restaurant, so you can have a dining experience. So one of the options here for the hot part of the ritual where you get your body nice and warm is to use the aromatic steam rooms. There's eucalyptus and this one, which is orange. just about to have a little bit of lunch. They open for lunch at 11, so everybody lined up. So we've come in, we're sitting upstairs in the restaurant, and yeah, we're gonna take a look at the menu and just have some tasty treats. Well, this might be too good. It's a bit of a problem, actually. This is probably one of the best cocktails I've had in a long time. Yeah, plus I love the little mug. It's a cute little mug. We added a chicken breast to it, and then it's got like pickled um, beets and radishes. It's got this like lovely mixture of bee pollen. There's peas, cucumbers, there's feta cheese in here. 
then I think there's a mixture of brown and uh, wild rice at the bottom as well. There we go. It's very good. It just feels like nice and healthy, but also really filling and just very flavorful. So it's like a beautiful dollop of burrata cheese. We have tomatoes, arugula, garlic bread. The arugula has balsamic drizzle, and there's a little bit of pesto on top of the tomatoes. So often when you get a dish like this, it's just a small little piece. Um, so this is like that maximize. Refreshing, creamy, tart. So good. That was amazing. Yeah. We are all done here at Thermea, but we had the best time enjoying everything that there is to do here. It really is the perfect place to relax and unwind and have a little bit of fun. And that's basically it for our getaway. We're gonna go back to the hotel and check out. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video.